Youth runner here with Santa Barbara standout, Nico Tasso, 1603 winner of the Division II Boys Varsity Race. With the 76th Mount Sac Invitational. We've seen so many Andreas Dibdahl highlights on that track, you know, whether it's been you know, section final last year for cross country, you know, creating more nightmares for Anthony Fastors, or obviously part of great DMRs and whatnot, but obviously today was all about you, yeah. your moment, your strength on the, uh, on the track. I mean, obviously, for a southern section athlete, it's nothing new, you know, to be able to, you know, to understand what that last, you know, stretch is going to require on the track. But, uh, knowing what's ahead of you in November, being back here, Lord willing, twice, like, what was that like just to kind of get a, like, a simulation? I mean, it was definitely good confidence because I haven't really had a race this season where I'm really proud of. And honestly, I'm not even that happy with that time. But leading from the switchbacks, I know that the effort was there. Um, and it just gave me a big confidence because I've never won a cross country race before. So to do that, now going into postseason, I'm really excited for it. Most definitely. Uh, I mean, the, the, uh, for the, the whole group, you know, just kind of on that understanding of, you know, because you guys know what the past, you know, layout was here and having yeah. poop out. Like, just in, how did that kind of just set up the strategy, set up the tactics, set up yeah. like the, you know, the, the, you know, kind of the, that, that mental visualization of like how you wanted to attack the course knowing, you know, I mean, it's obviously still going to be hard, yeah. but we're not going to have to attack three hills. We're only going to have to attack switchbacks and reservoir. Yeah, uh, totally. I think that it felt a lot easier today without poop out. Poop out definitely builds up a lot of lactic in the legs. Um, and I, I honestly like this new course more. It just felt a bit easier. Going into it, I thought I'm a strong hill runner and I, I like having poop out, but honestly, it, I guess it worked out for me, so I was good with that. I really did notice it on switchbacks. I was able to just go up it. Good job, bro. Too, bro. I was able to just get up it really hard. Um, and that's, I mean, that's where I dropped the whole field. So that was great. I'm, I'm a really strong hill runner. I always have been and it just shows the work has been paying off. No, well, most definitely. To have it happen now, Nico, like you said, you know, first first victory you know, at any level, at any invitational, yeah. how, like how profound is that for it to happen you know, right on the cusp of Channel League and right on the cusp of the postseason. Yeah, totally. I think, uh, like I said, I haven't had a super breakout race this year, and to have that win really means a lot to me. I mean, it just shows that I am capable of competing with the best in the state, and I know I am. Are we train to start opening up our races later in the season, and we get better and better and drop a ton of time from our first race to the end. So to know that I'm already winning at this point is a really big confidence boost for me. To that point, and I'm so glad that you shared that, right? The thing that I've appreciated about your entire program, about you know, the coaching staff and just the process, right? Like a lot of times everybody wants to be you know, so focused on results and outcome. And obviously today was huge for you and I hope it continues a you know, yeah. great momentum for you in November. But yeah. one thing like having the conversations with Andreas over so many years that it was like, nobody cares what I do in September and October, right? Yeah, totally. But people are darn sure gonna remember what, you know, what I did on, you know, on, yeah. on this track and what I did at the, you know, at Woodward Park and whatnot. Like, does that allow you to kind of have this reassurance and patience that it's like, as long as I stay healthy, trust in the process, you know, you believe in what you know, coach is setting up for us, like yeah. that it's going to work out for you all the same? I'm, I know it's going to work out. Last year was our first year under a new coach, Rusty Snow, um, and he really helped us so much just believing, just wait, be patient at the end of the season. It's going to work out, and it did. So I totally trust him when he's telling me, and, and my coach P2, both telling us, just be patient by the end of the season. You're going to be at your best and you can run with anybody. And especially having like Andreas and Blaze and all those people from last year, they're proof that it works. So I am I know that I'm in the right spot for awesome, sure. Awesome, man. Last thing, just in terms of the whole group, being able to kind of understand the visualization, right? People can look at, you know, videos on uh, on, on YouTube or they can you know, look at, you know, PDF designs of like what the new course is like, but yeah. now actually go through it and to know that it's like, hey, this is what we're going to have to attack two more times yeah. to get us to November 30th at Woodward Park, where uh, you know you rightfully belong. Yeah. How good was it for the whole group just to kind of understand, like, now, you had the visualization, now it's reality? Yeah. Um, I think it's great. I mean, running here is a really crucial piece because I don't know how far our team's going to go. Last year, we knew we were going to make it to the States, and this year, I hope we can. I think we're capable of it. It just, we're going to need to really race our best. But everyone else, just like me, has been doing the same thing, and we're going to start racing better and better. So to get a good look at this course before we come here for CIF and postseason really is crucial because, like you said, it's one thing to just look at the map online, but actually feeling it in my legs is a whole other thing. And I think I have an advantage over people that didn't necessarily 
come to the invite, so it's good. Most definitely. We always uh, look forward to great things from the Dons come yeah. November, and Nico Tassos just gave us a little preview, a little sample today uh, on October 26th yeah. of what that could look like. Stay healthy. Congratulations. Thanks, Appreciate it.